back to bass boxing outdoors. The video y'all are about to see is a video of me uh, fishing. And I'm just going to give you a little heads up. It is long. Uh, I didn't catch any fish but one. And it's uh, towards the end. If you just want to see that fish be caught, y'all can. Like I said, it's towards the end. So if uh, you don't want to watch the rest of it, you can. Because like I said, it is a long video. Uh, but I did try out a bunch of uh, the new baits that we got so uh, if y'all want to see them be worked or whatever you're more than welcome to watch that if not I completely understand if you just want to see the, the fish that was caught at the end uh, like I said just skip to the end you can see the uh, bass that gets caught at the end uh, anyways I just wanted to say uh, thank y'all and I appreciate the support and Anyways, uh, we'll get into this video, and thanks for uh, taking time out of y'all's day to watch. Thank you. Bye. I'm going to be using a 12-pound fluorocarbon. So, anyway, first uh, cast with the Yugen clickbait. I will say this, it does have a lot of vibration. Man, and that thing, yeah, that thing puts off a lot of vibration. And it really don't even take a lot of speed to get it going either. Yeah, that thing uh, puts off a lot of vibration. Hey, there's a crankbait. Let's see if we can get that crankbait. Yep. Come here. Trying to get this crankbait, guys. Eh. So, anyways, just found this. Looks pretty decent. We're gonna keep it. Ah, right, let's get back at it. Uh, so, anyways, like I was trying to say, this lake is really hard to catch fish in really hard probably because it's the only lake around here for a long ways away so everybody fishes it so it gets a lot of pressure but I figured today with it being the fall time we might get lucky Say I like this new rod, and I definitely like this new clickbait too. This thing putting off some tremendous action. People walking around here looking at me like I'm some kind of weirdo. <laughs> Hmm. Well, there's a dead fish right there. I don't know what kind it is. It looks to be like a... Some kind of shad or something. But anyways, let's get the move on. We're going to keep on fishing with this Guggen clickbait. And i got to say, I'm really impressed with... Uh, action on it. 
seem to be putting off a lot of action. We're gonna get off right here on this little point right here. See if we can get lucky. Anyways, I'm hoping y'all can see this stuff. Next up, we have this, uh, the Guggen Scout Jr. I'm gonna give this a shot for a minute and see if maybe they want something a little bit more. A little bit less uh, moving. It looks nice. A lot of people don't realize that whenever uh, you're using a jerk bait, you need to swim it down and then let it stop. And then on that slack line, just start jerking it. And then kind of pause, jerk, 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 pause. You know, just kind of make it look like a fish kind of darting through the water and trying to get away from something. Yeah, we're definitely hitting bottom. Let's go find somewhere a little bit deeper. We're gonna try putting on a, a, a trailer on the chatter on the clickbait. We're gonna use these uh, 3.3 inch Guggen saucy swimmers and see if maybe that'll help. Can't forget your water. What do y'all think? I think that looks like a pretty good little combo, huh? All right, so let's try this and move down here. And we're back to the clickbait, by the way. Man, it don't take much to get this thing on top of the water at all.
I mean, very little speed, this thing. It ain't like some of the chatterbaits and stuff. You've got to get it, got to give it a good jerk and get it started on this. You don't. It just starts working automatically. Man, I hope we catch a fish on this thing. I bet it's fun. <laughs> Definitely looked good. And like I said, this lake don't get but maybe six, seven foot deep at the most. Most of it's just shallow grass. I mean, this lake ain't nothing but shallow grass. But I think most of the grass has probably died off by now. Try to catch the duck. Let's see how we do here. We're just gonna continue to stick with the clickbait. Man, this thing puts off so much vibration. Like I said, you ain't even got to jerk it or nothing. It just, as soon as you start reeling, it starts right, wiggling back and forth. And you can definitely feel the vibration. It can be pretty weedless too, for the most part. Man, this wind is kicking it. I think we're going to pick up that uh, junior scout and see if we can have any luck with it. Don't seem like any fish are biting today. We'll try this out and see how this goes.
See, this is what I'm fighting with. This lake ain't nothing but all this right here. <laughs> Day is not looking good. Still nice to be out here though. I haven't been out fishing in a long time. stay off the bottom, I'd be all right. I'll give us, I'm gonna play that for choice. Give it a little bit more time. Hope y'all are enjoying the video anyways. <laughs> fish around here somewhere. I don't think this is working though. We're gonna change baits. I'll be right back. So uh anyways we're back. I done uh went ahead and switched to the, y'all might recognize this, this come in the monster bass box. I figured with that white, the water's a little bit dark. So I figured that white and green with that red hook, it might stick out a little bit better than that, the Guggen. So we're gonna see. And it is a little bit bigger of a profile. Here's gonna be my problem right here. I have to switch to something a little bit more weedless. All right, guys, we're gonna move and see if we can find some deeper water. All right, we're back. Uh, let's see what we can get going. I'm gonna start off with the clickbait, see if maybe we'll get some bites. I do gotta say that I am impressed with the action this baits and how easy it is to get it going. I mean, like I said, it ain't none of that jerking to get it to start going or anything like that. I mean, it just, as soon as you start cranking it, that thing starts moving. 
and it's got a strong vib it's got strong vibration to it so which I'm really surprised why we're not getting any bites I mean I think putting off a lot of racket You can definitely feel it when it's coming through, that's for sure. And like I said, it seems to be pretty well weedless. I mean, it's going through this grass like it's nothing. It just pushes it out of the way. I do like that. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. But like I told y'all before, whenever I first started what so this video, this lake right here is probably one of the hardest lakes I've ever fished. It is really hard to catch anything out of this thing. Catch one or two, you're doing good, so. But every day is a different day, so never know. I do like this rod too. Nice little combo. Like I gave eighty dollars for it. Wasn't bad. Really like to catch a fish though, that way I can really put it to the test. Hope y'all are seeing this stuff. So we're gonna move again, see what we can find. Let's give this spot a try. This looks a little bit better. There's a lot of grass and stuff around, so. Maybe we'll get lucky and push one out of this grass. down don't let me get hung up either grass is still alive. Hope everybody's having a good day. 
I know I am. I mean, it's like I said, I think it's about like 67, 68 degrees out here. It was supposed to get up to 70, but it didn't quite reach it. It's so now. It's Man, it amazes me. That right there is a good vibrating jig. I don't know guys, I do not know. I don't know if they're, maybe we have to find something really deep and they're off in the real deep part of this or what. Like I said, this lake don't get that deep. I'll try that monster bass jerk bait, see what happens. Look good. We're gonna try slowing it down just a little bit and see if maybe that'll help. I think that's working either. We're gonna have to find something different. All right, I'll get back with y'all once I change this. Well, we're back. Uh, I'm gonna try this uh, finesse jig, the Guggen Squad Little Juicy with a cracking crawl. Let's see what happens. We're not having no luck on these uh, jigs, or I mean, uh, the jerk bait, so we're gonna do something a little different. See what happens. looking good so we'll see what happens you got to be kidding me <laughs>
and I'm really surprised we are not getting no bites. So we switched the baits. Now I'm going to go back with this smaller profile uh, jerk bait. This comes in our monthly bass box. I think it's a Strike King uh, jerk bait. So we'll see what happens. Well, they definitely should be able to see it. We'll see what a little, just a slow tree will do. get me hung up. <laughs> Man, you gotta be kidding me. Where are all these damn fish at? All right, guys, we're gonna move. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so I've been scouting around and I finally found a spot that might be good. So let's uh, try to give this a shot. We got some rocks over there. 
and this right here out here these edge of these grasses look pretty good i switched it back to the clickbait but i went with the the black and blue and the saucy swimmer that's the trailer i figured maybe this darker water with the darker color maybe that'll help so we're gonna give that a try And once again, like I said, this thing's putting off a lot of action just like the other one was. we ain't caught no pike or anything normally the pike are real aggressive in here or pickle i should say i don't think they're pike <laughs> but my all in all review i would say this right here on the right day would you know, any bait on the right day would put, catch a lot of fish, but uh, as far as action-wise goes, this thing right here puts off a lot of action. So if you're wondering if you should get one, I would recommend it, especially if you like the chatter bait and stuff, you know, any kind of bladed jig, really, because, I mean, this thing swims through grass and stuff pretty, pretty easily, I mean, it ain't getting hung up or anything, so I do like that. Oh, yeah. Perfect calf. Maybe we'll get one now. Like I said, I mean, it, you don't even have to jerk on this thing or anything to get it to start vibrating. You know, most vibrating jigs, you have to get them, you have to kind of give them a jerk or something to get them going. I mean, you can slow this thing up or you can go as fast as you want to and it's gonna keep on doing the same action. All right, let's, uh, we ain't getting no bites on that. So next up, I brought the uh, just come out of the monster bass box the lunker candy it's a small profile lipless crank so i figured we'd give it a shot I will tell you this, it seems to be putting off a lot of vibration. 
it's definitely doing its job. It's doing what it's supposed to be doing. It's vibrating back and forth for all y'all that were wanting to know. Oh yeah, we got one, boys. Whoa, this is a nice one. What do we got? Uh-uh. Look at that, boys. The old Lunker Candy pulled it out. Uh, man, that's a nice bass right there. That's about a, a pounder, a pound and a half. All right. These fish are cold, but man, that's a big chunky fish right there. I thought there for a minute maybe we had a catfish. Never leave home without pliers. So y'all see this, this is the Lunker Candy. The Lunker Candy pulled it off, that's a nice bust. I'm definitely proud of that. Pretty fish. Like I said, he's probably a pound, pound and a half. Get a large mouth. There you go, buddy. One thing about this place, you cannot keep the bass. It don't matter how big they are, how small they are. I do know there are a couple of big ones in here because uh, early this year, some uh, guys caught some that, that weighed like a uh, eight pounds and he was mad because he wasn't able to take it home <laughs> so there we go got the old lunker candy man i'm shocked i was really surprised that we had just come through there with that uh clickbait 